So my name is Ragnil Fusta and I work with the, the Norwegian Defense Staff in J79 and I'm the Norwegian Head of Verification. I have been the Head of the Norwegian Ver Verification since 2016 and I've also been the Head of uh, the Observation for Trident Juncture in 2018 and Recall Response in 2020. For this uh, uh, observation, 17 nations said yes, so we have 17 nations present and 30, uh, 33 observers. Uh, we've been visiting all brigades that's been here in all subunits. And they're the brigades, I don't know if you know, but they're from Norway, they're from Sweden and Finland. Uh, they've been uh, French, the US. It's been, um, there. you know, there's 27 nations participating in cold response. So there's a lot of people. And uh, about 15,000 of them are on land. And the rest, which I think is about 15,000, is taking part in the, up in the ocean and up in the air. But the Vienna document, we are mostly concerned about land forces. So that's where we are um, focusing. Our aim is to show that this is a non-threatening exercise for our neighboring nations or any nation at all. As cold response is a, is a very big exercise, over 13,000. Norway had to invite all the members, member countries, 57 member countries of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. So we uh, are now visiting uh, a subunit that we just met here, which is a fr French subunit with some Marines uh, also embedded. And uh, we are here uh, from a perspective of showing that the, this exercise is a non-threatening exercise, it's transparent and open, and according to the information that Norway has sent out, previous to the exercise. And as it's such a large exercise, we sent out information to all the nations of the OCC two years in advance, just to make sure that they knew about this exercise. We are here as part of the Vienna document, which is, is an arts control treaty, and it's very specific and detailed about what kind of information these military brigades are gonna tell us, the observers, so in order to, to show how transparent we are. And uh, so all the brigades is following it uh, to, I mean, to details very well and even more. So we call it not only in the letter of the Vienna document, also, but also in the spirit, which meaning giving more information. It shows that we are very transparent and open about our military activity. And this is called an unusual military activity because it's larger than a, just a small training event. Uh, so that's very important. The group here of, of observers have been asking a lot of questions and the troops and the commanders and the soldiers we met has been very open and friendly and showing uh, us how the, their, uh, what their uh, um, goal is in the exercise and how they've been treated here and how, how the cold, ha you know, the difficult, difficulties and challenges they have of being the soldiers in Norway, because this is what Norway, um, this uh, exercise is for us to defend our countries and to be able to invite allies in into Norway and how, you know, a lot of these countries are from France. It doesn't have this cold weather or, or Spain and stuff like that. So uh, from the Norwegian perspective, it's very good to have uh, allies come and, and train and exercise with us. And from an arts control perspective, it's been very good because the allies, who also signed the Vienna document, has been very open to the observers. My name is Ragnil Husta and I'm with the Vienna Document Observers here in Exercise Call Response.